Hey everybody, it's Linda. Welcome back to Stamping School. It's January, we're working in the new spring mini catalog from Stampin' Up. I'm gonna be using the new Horizon Suite along with some other stamp sets. It's just gorgeous. This six by six paper is a must have for all of your scenery, nature, artsy cards. Let me show you what that paper looks like up close. You get 48 sheets, four of each of these 12 designs, and they're all hand-painted, watercolor. Just think about all the things you can do with them in the background. It's so, so pretty. I'll show you the back sides also. Isn't that gorgeous? I love that the artist at Stampin' Up just have so much fun painting all these. Look at that. So, so pretty. And this one, a little scene all on its own. Now, if you wanna make five by seven cards, that would be beautiful for the back also. So I'm gonna show you how to make three inch panels and I'm gonna put them on something that I call three quarter cards. But let me finish this. Okay, this one I love because is it grass and then sky or is it like a lake water with the grass up here? You decide. So, so pretty. This one I'm gonna be using also. I'll show you that. And then these are just kind of watercolor wash. And let me show you the back sides. These are all just watercolor washes for backgrounds. And a few of them, like this one, I mean, is that a snow scene with cabins? Or is it the ocean? I, I don't know, it's just, it's just so cool. All right, all right, let me show you what we're gonna make. So this is the first one I'm gonna do. Now, I call this three quarter cards because three quarters is left and I take a quarter off. So basically, I'm cutting off an inch and we've done these forever, right, in all different orientations, but because the way we get to cut the paper, you can get two cards out of one easily and still get to utilize all this pretty paper. So I'll show you the basic bones of it. So half a sheet of cardstock from your eight and a half by 11, so it's five and a half by eight and a half, and you're gonna score it in half at four and a quarter, just like we do for a normal A2 size card. But then what you're gonna do is you're gonna cut off an inch and put it in your paper cutter and cut off one inch Save that for something else. And that is the three quarter card. I'm gonna show you one card this way, one card this way, one card this way. So we're gonna do the three quarters in each direction. And I'll show you one more that's in um, a little bit different layout. So for this one, I wanna do three inches. And then you kind of figure out what you want to put on here. So what I like to do is I like to take my stamp and kind of figure out, it's on a little piece of vellum, and I like to figure out where I want it. So what's gonna show up the best? How is it gonna look? And I just keep this in my stamp set. This is a new set called Slim Sayings, and it's for those slimline cards that are really nice and long. But I love a bold graphic stamp set, and this one is so nice, and I love this vertical saying right here. So I stamped it on vellum, and that's when I kind of decided, okay, so I want more blue than I do this pink at the bottom. So I'll cut off this at five and a quarter, and then I'll get two cards out of one. I'll save that for something. Now to get this really nice and bold, I want to use my Stamparatus. If you have a any kind of a stamping positioner, it works great. So I always keep a silicone pad in my Stamparatus, always, always. And what I want to do, I want to make this right about here, okay? Because I'm going to put this butterfly on the side and I kind of wanted this over there, but I want it nice and dark. So sometimes you have to ink it up a few times to get it really dark. And I'm not going to trust that this is perfect yet. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna mount it on here. It's kind of where I want it. And then I'm gonna take it off and I'm gonna look at it and see how it looks. But still, I'm not gonna trust it yet. I am going to put something on top of this and stamp. This is just a clear piece of 
plastics, actually cutting boards. You know those ones that you get in the dollar store for 99 cents, you get a couple in a package. I cut them down into squares and I use these to make sure my stamp is aligned. So I can put this on here and ink it up. Now, I'm not using stays on ink, I'm just using like a memento, something that's dye based. And then I can ink this up lightly, add it here on top of that plastic and say, you know what, do I like that? Is it nice and straight? And actually it is, it's pretty good. If it wasn't though, I can just take my chamois or something or like a moist towel and wipe this off and do it again and reposition. But this actually looks really good the first time. Now I can ink this up. I know I'm not gonna screw up my designer paper. And I can ink it up a few times so it's nice and dark. It's gonna just stay in the same place. So I think I just did it two times. Right there. Ah, so pretty. So there, that's just layered on there. This is just three inches by five and a quarter on my card. I've got this one inch piece. I put on just a little quarter sheet of cardstock and then added some other embellishments on here. It's little butterflies and some sequins. And it's good. I mean, this paper is so gorgeous, you don't need to do anything else to it. All right, so this is the first one with the left side fold. Now here is the exact same fold, but I'm gonna turn it this way. And look at that. Oh, I just love it. So that is this piece right here and I just cut it right across here. And this has little flowers at the bottom, but it doesn't matter. You can still do the exact same thing up here. It's just gorgeous. And I added the little picket fences. So the bundle looks like this. You get the dies that have the little fence, like that, the little gates. And this could be anything. It can be water, it can be snow, it can be grass. You know, it's just amazing with these little houses and the little trees. I did them in black so you could see. And this one is a separate die that goes over here so you can make little snowy mountain caps, which I think is really fun. It's got this little grass. I wish I had little flowers, but it's okay. We've got enough of little flowers everywhere else. And then the stamp set on the horizon, wishing you so much happiness, relax, enjoy your day, breathe. It's always important to breathe. Thinking of you, thanks for everything. So it's got lots of nice little things, although, you, the only thing that it actually cuts out the stamp set is this stamp right here. There's a die for that. So some people have been using this even for greetings and things like that, but it's just like, like little wood planks or something. So let's get back to this one. Again, going back to my vellum pieces with the stamp set, you could definitely stamp and add little, little flowers and things like that. There's these great birds. <laughs> which I'll show you that later, but you could even stamp some birds in there. And the grass, you can even add more grass. But what I did on this one, I did my three by five and a quarter panel, same exact measurements. I added this die right here in evergreen. And then for my fence, I wanted a little bit of a wood grain. So I went to the In Good Taste designer series paper. And on the back of this one is just some, it's like spackle all over. So I just used that one to cut that. And I added the greeting at the bottom. Now you can also, if you wanna step it up a little bit, you can take that piece that you cut off and I embossed it with a happy birthday from that Slim Lines birthday. So you could do that and just glue this at the bottom if you wanted to instead of stamping it. Depends on how much time you have. But that would look really nice too, right down like that. And that's the other layout for that. Now there are these adorable little stones. I don't know if you've seen these in person yet, but they are called pebbles, enamel shapes. They're flat. They're gonna be nice to mail. They're, I mean, they have a little bit of a bump to them, but I mean, I think they're gonna mail nicely and they have a little bit of a gloss to them. And they're in these like little neutral shades of light gray and dark gray and almost like a cinnamon color. But they're just a nice little accent to add. Look at the bottom. Just a little teeny little stones down there. And then I just added a few extra jewels right here just to make it pop a little. So easy though and all you have to do is cut your designer paper just in half and cut a little bit off the edge. Okay, so that's the top fold. 
three quarter card version. Now I'm doing this paper right here and I thought it reminded me sort of of the beach and I thought you could do seashells with it. So we're gonna do the exact same layout. So three quarter card, take one inch off and we're gonna use it upside down this way. We're gonna make a little pocket out of it and cutting this one in half. Oops, here it is, this one. Yep, cutting it in half, three inches by five and a quarter. And add that on. You decide which way you want it to go. I'm gonna make a top loading pocket. I'm gonna add a little bit of this tear tape right here on the sides. Pick those off. <laughs> Somebody, asked me the other day, what happened to your nails? You used to have such long, pretty nails. And I'm like, well, yeah, well, I decided to take a break from the nail polish and all the dip and everything else. And I'm going short for a little while and just letting them <laughs> be natural. So it's very been very interesting and I can grab things so much easier now. So this is gonna be a little pocket. now. Anything can work here. You can even just go straight across, but this happens to be from the slimline dies. There's these guys right here that you can use for the for your slimline cards, and I just use this one, and I just cut this off right here. But any little scallop or anything that you have, pretty, pretty dies, punches, just to give it a little bit of interest. So this is cut down a little bit. You know, you can print the measurements down below there. So you could put a gift card in here. This is about four and a half, like that. And then I have the seashells. These are from the annual catalog. Okay. So remember the seashells that were so popular last year? They, they cut and emboss, they're so pretty, and they're still in the annual catalog. So I just did those in vanilla. And then I added just a little bit of sponging with my brush. Um, just kind of sponge some color on. Let's do... This one, I've got glue on these already just to sort of save some time. Let's do this one right here. And love you to the beach and back. This one can go right here. And probably just a few little sparkles around. We need a little sparkles. I have used these in color gems more than anything. Um, they are so great and so pretty. These are the soft succulent colors, which kind of looks nice in here. Let's do a big one. Let's do a big one right, right here. Okay. Oh, and then the inside, I forgot that. Just a little bit of sponging on here. Keep these flat for the inside so they go in and out of the pocket easily. And there it is. So there we go. That's the top loading version of the three quarter card. One more. Now, this one's a little bit different. This is um, four and a quarter by 11, so it's still a half a sheet of cardstock, scored in the middle at five and a half, right here. So that's your basic card this way. But now we're gonna cut off one inch right here up to, up to the seam. So, of course, it's really best if you use a paper cutter instead of trying to do it with scissors. And there's a little, um, a little notch right there that tells you where the blade is, so we stop right there. And you can use the paper cutter across here, which is probably the better thing to do, but for time, I'm just gonna do that. And that is the three quarter card this way. And of course you could do it like this, you know, put it on the other side. But I'm gonna use this paper. I love this one, so pretty. And I did a black card and you can see that three inch panel right here. And then I added a tree, any tree works. This happens to be from the Mountain Air Bundle. It has lots of trees and mountains and things in there. But imagine, I mean, you can just do a silhouette like this. And we have so many of these silhouette flowers. It'd be beautiful just as a flower. It doesn't have to be a tree. And then just be careful because it's really easy to stamp the birds upside down <laughs> in the stamp set. I actually, I thought, whoops. Yep, they're all flying upside down, but they it's you gotta really look and watch to make sure that they're flying <laughs> right side up. So I just put a banner on here, I stuck the tree on, I stamped the birds. I ended up stamping just five birds instead of the whole flock. 
just kind of mass them out. And then on the inside, I just put that little tree stamp right there. Oh, and I forgot to show you on this one, you can add sea glass. We've got these little sea glass embellishments. And they're a little bit more textural than the stones. They pop up a little bit more, but they're like a, a frosty acrylic, which is kind of pretty. That'd be pretty on here. So this one might be my favorite. I know it's a little harder to do this, but not much. But this one might be my, my favorite, this with this layout over here. And you can add a decorative edge on the side. You know, the three quarter cards are just really, really useful for getting the most out of this six by six paper. So here they all are. One, two, three, four. Give it a try. Let me know how you like it. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. See it, learn it, stamp it.